There's an article I want to read you. You haven't had to go through this that I know of, that you spoke of. I don't believe that you are fixed, which means that at any given moment uh, with the right woman, you could have another little Kevin out there. Man, that's why once I'm out of this training, they like you you free to move about the world, take time off. I'm getting fixed. Well, I have been fixed and I can personify with this. Um, this is an article from In the Know. Husband survives vasectomy, proudly shows off hilarious consolation t-shirt. This is just evil. So anyway, what happened was a uh, post-vasectomy dad is going viral for his hilarious new t-shirt and TikTokers are loving uh, his dad's, his doctor's sense of humor. Okay, so the mother was a hairstylist and uh, she posted the side splitting footage on her account. And um, what happened was when he got out, uh, he was walking uh, to the car, actually limping to the car because it was a vasectomy. Anyway, um, he had a t shirt that was given to him by the doctor. One side of the t shirt, when you unfold it in the front, um, reads xsperminator.com and it's written across two lemons but when you flip it on the back it's got two even bigger lemons and it says all juice no seed oh wow so this doctor's like office is giving that out <laughs> i like the back of the shirt better that all juice no seed that's funny that's dope yeah, I mean, this, this doctor is probably uh, cleaning up now. I was out of doubt. I go to him just because of that shirt. Yeah, well, it's too late for me. I don't get a damn shirt. Go back to my doctor. Say, How come you didn't give me a shirt? What's up, nigga? No. Um, How long ago did you get yours done? It was right after Darian was born. I want to say within the first three to six months. Because I knew I only wanted to have two. And Heather said she was going to be one and done. So I'm like, yeah, you know, no matter what, I'm not going to have no more kids. I'm good with that. I got two boys. That, that's what I wanted. Um, so did you get it when you was at the queue or when you, after you left the queue? I was still at the queue. Okay. Um, I went in on a Friday after work, had the procedure mm -hmm. done, and pretty much sitting on a bag of ice. Uh, all, all evening Friday, watching whatever in the recliner. Um, and then Saturday, feeling a little bit better. Sunday is just another day. Got up, felt good, you know. It's a pretty small incision, and they do what they got to do. So you, you know, were back to work uh, Monday? Oh, I was back on Monday, yeah. I was okay. back to work with no problem. So basically, if I hadn't have told you that I had it, you'd never know. Never know. Okay. All right, cool. That's like I said, I'm trying to get mine done, get this over with, because what I ain't trying to do is start over. I got a 15 to 13 year old. I ain't trying to start over. Well, see, that's my logic. You know, my kid's going to be 11 on Friday, and I'm already 51. So it, by the time he graduates, you know, seven years from now, I'm going to be 59. If I had another one after him, that means I would be in my 60s before they got out the house. Uh, I'm trying to travel and enjoy life um, when these kids get kicked out. Go to college, son. Me and your mom going on a cruise. Holla. Yeah. But you were 40 when you had them. Well, let's see. I'm 51. Yeah, I was. I didn't realize that. Mm-hmm. Hey, I, I try to stay young, bro. I try to do my little running and hey, I work out when I can. Hey, you try to stay young the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> but is it wrong? <laughs> What's uh, wrong that night, clearly? <laughs> heck no. 